This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Welcome. Welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to Your Mom's House. All right, TikToks, welcome, <laughs> welcome to another episode of your mom's house podcast. Please make note, this will be the last episode you ever see me without wearing glasses. Um, you I got cannot, your dad vision? I can't do it anymore. Oh no, yeah, I know, that's why I wear I mine. I can barely see everything in front of me. Oh jeez. So, <laughs> I've been for leaving them at home and today is a good reminder that uh, I got dad eyes. You do. You're mm -hmm. turning into a real dad. Well, yeah, we'll more get on that. More on that soon. Whew, hot topic, guys. But I can't fucking see anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know <laughs> if this is Josh's anal gaping porn or if this is a clip <laughs> I'm supposed to play. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're excited. We're doing another solo ep today. I'm oh, very excited about that. I miss, to get into. I miss these. I miss this you. This is fun. I know. I feel like this is the OG right here, the OG this crew. Is it. Yep, this is how we do it, man. This is how we used to do it in the home studio. Okay. 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 All right. All Back right. when it felt it felt naughty, right? Mm -hmm. Doing a show with no holds bar. No. No one's holds telling us farts. what to do. I know. No holds farts. There's so much to get into. This is really going to be a good one. Uh, to get us started here, you're. I don't even know if you've seen this clip, but this is pretty good. Are you ready? If I, I hope it's. What I think it's going to be. Okay, here we go. All right, listen. All right, I got to tell you, I got a call last night. And guys said, yo, some girls trashed you on a podcast. I said, what? Trash you me? Fuck that. Who's that? I'll fucking, I'll fucking light her up, man. Let me see this podcast. So I was all pissed off, man. <laughs> Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Yo, mama in the fucking stand. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. With Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. It is the fun. This is the most fun part of the show. Ah. So, intro wars have been going on for a moment, and <laughs> there's a uh, there's a lot to get into about that. But so one of the things that happened was, you know, obviously had a near. Um, firing with a uh, blue band Don't. last week but no 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 we you know we worked we talked and you know he apologized but um so one of the things i wanted to do uh, he came in he goes i got a real nice treat for you uh, as you can see if you're watching right now i'm actually on the boards for the first time in the new studio so i'm running the videos and, and i have clips. to cough <coughs> it's a productive cough easily the worst experience of my week <laughs> was that moment. I'm still getting over the cold our child had. If you're going to cough, leave happened. the room. So <laughs> I hate coughers and now I became the cougher. Isn't that the yeah. irony? Yeah, that is. God, it's always how it happens. So he goes, I got a real treat for you. And I'm like, great, what is it? Well, the guys decided because they really wanted to make me happy and they knew how much I wanted to change the intro that they would each take a stab at creating an intro for the show. <laughs> right, and... Nadav gave his pitch for the intro last time. Yeah, I don't even remember what, what that was. It, well, it was the one where it was like, oh, oh that's what she oh, said. Oh, yeah, that was a disaster. <laughs> yeah, that was two weeks ago. That yes. was a huge mistake. That won't happen again. Yeah, that was Tim Allen and George H.W. Bush. No new taxes. It was insane. Anyways, he and I fought about that. But then we we came back and he goes, I got three new intros and each of you guys took a stab at it. So... First up is an intro. This one, this one I think is mine. This is yours? Yeah. Okay. 
Um, yeah, this is something that, I, you know, it's in a better direction. You're right, Christina? <laughs> Legit, that's sick. Okay. I'm sorry. I mean, controlling and I'm controlling. The, well, it. the irony, though, right? <laughs> The irony of having a sneeze rule or the disdain she has for sneezers. I know, and I'm controlling my coughs. Watch. I'm controlling the cough. Okay. So, okay, yeah. so, so, the, so this sorry. is mission so I want to hear. One. This okay. is mission okay. number one okay. from me. I'm excited to hear this. All right, this. let's yeah, hear it. Let me know what you guys I have think. not heard this. Here we go. I just hope Nadav you don't get angry again. Intro. Uh, I don't want to get mad at him. Okay, all right. Dear mommy. I ordered a buffalo burger. I'm not a racist. My sister went down. She's going down to the mountain. Well, well, well. Welcome to your mom's house <laughs> with Tom Segura. Okay. I love it. Pretty, that's, pretty good, right? That's impressive. That's all the, the great TikToks that I've been. Yeah, but this isn't yeah, the I knew TikTok. You guys would like it. No, no, you guys. This isn't the TikTok <laughs> show. Well, it kind of is. In a grand philosophical. Like, yeah, I, I know I see what you're saying. The, the show isn't only about my curations, but. It is about, in okay. the broader scheme of I mean, things, the, the look, tech target. I, I get out it. There. I get it. It's a fine submission. Yeah, it's the recent drops. and. You know, well, no, it's one lane. It's, it's if, if this whole show is just the tick touched <laughs> kind of stuff, this is, I mean, are you going to fucking do this all show? <laughs> What's the problem? Because I'm laughing. The so, tick touched? Yeah, if you're, if you're going to go down the tick touch lane <laughs> of, of these tick people tarts. and like that's all we did then that would make sense, but it doesn't, I mean, that makes sense for the segment. Right. You know? But I like it. I like what he did. I mean, can you give him a little credit? I, I said, think he, I just said, it, it you makes sense. You redeemed yourself. Okay, we're not using that as our new show intro. No, but I think the, I think people Wait, felt. you haven't even heard the other ones. Yet. You are I'm mean. saying that one is not in. I love it. I, I think I it should be the new I applaud your effort. That's absolutely not the, the new show intro. All right, done. Signed right. and it's well, got my vote. I'll take that. That's already a step up from from the last fiasco so yeah 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 so no i applaud great. your effort oh, thank you uh, throw it away but it, it's fine it's got my vote okay. so far how many vote for nadav i do all right this next one is by uh and he made this one and he made this yeah, one we just told great. him make a new one with some drops and this is what he made okay, okay. it's fucking morning just glass and dd mega doo doo i turn into a telescope well 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 Welcome yes. to your mom's That's house. That's great. Yeah. With Tom Segura. Tom That's Segura. great. And Christina Pajitsi. Okay. That's really good. Welcome to your mom. Okay. It's fucking morning. That's okay. <laughs> Just go ahead. How does D -D that? DD Mega Doo Doo. <laughs> I turn it to. Okay. I love. I right. forgot about DD Mega Doo Doo. Um, that was fantastic. That's again. pretty good, man. Yeah. That is in line with the like. F for sure, it's better than his. What? I don't know. Yeah. Wait. Oh, you're saying Annie's is better than mine? Of course it is. I don't it's, think so. It's I mean, drops from the show. So the, I did drops from the show too. Yeah. I know, but you did just TikTok drops. Because they're everybody's favorite. The world demands the TikTok drops. Thank you. Okay. It's easily Annie in the lead. Okay. What? Well, second place Says is still pretty you. good. Look, what are Annie, you talking about? No, I think Annie did a really great job. He incorporated some drops that I, I think are central to the show. Okay. Listen, um, listen again. It's fucking yeah. morning. It's great. Just glass and DD mega doo doo. I turn into a telescope. Well, well. Yeah, those, <laughs> those are, are great. That's, yeah, it's uh, it covers a I few see. hit drops. It's like that's yeah. I see what you're saying, but uh, you know. I mean, even if you had great. okay, I'll tell you this. Even if you had one of your TikTok drops in what he built there, that could play. But like okay. just TikTok. Okay. Drops. What if we added my sister? My sister. Dear mommy. I ordered a buffalo burger. I'm not a racist. My sister went down. Going down to the mountain. You like oh, her? Oh, oh. Yeah. What if we added my sister went down, down to the mountain? Like it's possible. Okay. okay. Anything is possible. I want. I ordered a cheeseburger. What? I ordered a cheeseburger. I ordered a cheeseburger. And the fries. <laughs> I'm waiting for my lunch. I'm waiting for my lunch. He's I become a sensation. I don't know if you're aware, but he's really gotten quite a following. He has? Oh, yeah. No, I'm not aware. Anytime you ever think to ask me <laughs> if I'm aware of what's going on with the TikTok people, you can know that I'm yeah. not aware. There's a lot of stars, a lot of breakout stars from this yeah, show. Yeah, I think I'm that's an exaggeration. Mm. No, I'm serious. Okay. What is this last one? It just says C. What? Right. So this last one is from Josh. Josh, I'll let you intro it. Okay. 
and wean for me. Uh, so I don't mean to like be a dog ate my homework situation, but oh, okay. I, uh, I deleted all the files when and I went home this weekend and I got kind of busy and I uh, just worked with what I had, which was just my voice. So here you go. Okay. I don't even know what that means. I don't know either. All right. I'm a little nervous. Here it him. is. Here's Josh. You're going to get submission. so angry. I know it. This is beep time. <laughs> Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone's mother into this. Your mama in the fucking stands. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pashitsky. Christina Pashitsky. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. I mean, it's so dumb that I can't get mad. Yeah. I feel like it's the winner. He I don't did know about you, but. all the instruments, yeah. all the drops. How'd you do? Did yeah, you how long did that take you to do? <laughs> uh, like six minutes. That whole thing? Yeah, I did it at the subway. <laughs> really? <laughs> I liked it a lot. I can't believe how much I like it. I know. I'm actually upset with myself that I like it. <laughs> Is this the new intro? Fuck no, this is not the new intro. I, I like it, though. <laughs> <laughs> it would piss so many people Wait, off. Wait, why can't it be, though? I kind of like it. Can we hear it again? And let's start the show. It's beep, beep, beep time. <laughs> Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone's mother into this. Your mama in the fucking stand. It sounds like some, somebody that's, crazy person. that's tick touched made it. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah. It sounds like a homeless person. Made One it. of your stars. Yeah. <laughs> somebody from your feed. My talent. Yeah. Huh. Made it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I really applaud the three uh, of your guys' effort, you know? Um, that's really good. I mean, Josh's is terrible, but really good. <laughs> but, but I, I mean, mean, yeah, the intro's in a better place now, right? It's, I mean, uh, yeah. It's being proactive. I, yeah, I just, I don't know if I could stop playing the original intro, though. I don't think we can. I mean, the listeners would probably freak out. If we stop playing it? Dude, yeah. I mean, that's the original... YMH. I mean, thing, this would be the place to go, though. It's fucking morning. Yeah. Just glassing. DD Mega Doo Doo. I turn into a telescope. <laughs> well, well. I mean, that's yeah. That's it's, like, but I, you can't you can't take out who is Randy and don't bring in. I know, I know. This. I, of course, that's the and show. And your mom in the fucking stands. I mean, duh. it's all there. But I mean, you guys did a great job. Yeah. Thank you. You guys did do a great job, and I think it redeems you and your rage against. No, Dolph, I think people were a little angry at yeah. how angry you were. Evan went to his file and, and took the, the mark off the file. What's that? So there's a, a log that I keep of like violations. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. How many violations are in there? Well, it just depends. I mean, Josh has one, you have two. What? And he has none. Chris has one. What does Chris have one for? Just, I'll tell you off mic. <laughs> Just I know because he makes his non bread. He doesn't bring in he, any. He, uh, it was else. he got a mark for his um, curry. Yeah, he yeah. heated it up here in the microwave. Mm -hmm. Got a mark for that. Rude, rude yeah. af. So everybody has a uh, three kind of strikes policy. Do I have a mark? You have one mark. Yeah. <gasps> for what? For I'm your wife. You coughed. You coughed a lot. Oh, time. I did. I get it. But I kind of get it. No, you're right. I yeah. deserve it. Yeah. No, I deserve it. You could get a, easily a second mark during the same episode. Keep coughing. I'm going to stop. I stopped myself. Did you, you see how I so controlled far, it? So far, it's been really good. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Okay, wh why is this guy mad at me? I don't... I don't. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's this is talking, great. So, I hate when people see what I say about them. I know. Mr. It's Positive. So, he's not supposed to see it. You know, as stupid as I, I am, I think like, well, th this is a silly little internet show. No one's going to see it. And then I forget the internet is around the world and people sure talk is. and then yeah. they feel like a horrible person already. GD. It's funny that like it doesn't, I know, because I feel the same way. And then you'll forget like the downloads and the view count and you're like, oh yeah, this, this could have reached quite a few people. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think I forget how much our show has grown, Yeah. you know, because I still think of us as like doing the, the show out of Silver Lake and yeah. our, 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 it I know. hasn't registered that it's a little, yeah. little bigger now. It is. Um, 
Here's the, should I play what I got on mine oh, first? Oh, I'm so embarrassed yeah, already. Yeah. yeah, yours is the first one, then okay. I can continue on on mine. Oh, okay. I'm mortified. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Oh, who's this guy? Hey, good morning, we're fucking doing it. <laughs> who's this here? fucking guy? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? I don't care. I got businesses. <laughs> hey, you got Big Red over here. I'm scratching down at the door at 6 in the morning. Hey, yo, Big Red. Uh, <laughs> That's really great. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, Zach sent that in. It was, it was really good. Um, okay, so Zach, amazing impression. Just so you know, on our show, you've made it. If you've got people sending in uh, submissions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you. No, this guy's a hit. You've made it. This guy's a hit. You're you're good as famous. Organic laundry is, is is a hit. So here's this. He started Organic posting laundry. these a few days ago. Okay. Hey, good morning, everybody. Mr. Positive here. Yo, man. Hey, I want to first give a shout out to my boy Steve Schley. Okay. Okay, All Steve. right, he's marrying Melissa on yeah. Friday. Congratulations, All right, Staten Steve. Staten Island, one of your boys told me to give you a shout out. I'm doing it for you, baby. Because I'm a man of the people. I'm a regular dude. Okay. And then. All right, listen. All right. I got to tell you, I got a call last night, and guys said, yo, some girls trashed you on a podcast. So oh, what? No. Trashed me? Fuck that. Who's that? I'm fucking, I'm fucking light her up, man. Let me see this podcast. So I was all pissed off, man. And I'm already I nervous. On the podcast, I, like I saw it. the girl, Tina. I was like, oh, shit, she's hot. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I'm not mad no more. Honey, you're fucking Aww. adorable. I'm going to get mad at you. And then I go, you're fucking Canadian too? Oh, forget it. Wait till you hear about this shit. Oh, organic dry cleaning. Yeah. See, now I feel like a jerk. This is why I'm such an asshole, Tom. I say, I say things just in the moment. Like maybe I was in a bad mood that day, and then he's like, the nicest guy. I was like, oh shit, she's (laughs) hot. (laughs) Fuck. But if he heard you cough, I bet he'd cut you right. I know he'd cut my throat. Yep. Pure organic dry cleaning. Now I'm now I feel like a jerk. This isn't even the end of it. You no, know, there's, there's more. Mo- oh, there's I'm mortified. More. Yeah, no, no, there's more. I'm so mortified. There's definitely more. He um, he goes on. He he shares um more thoughts. Yeah. So now I'm all pissed off. I'm ready to rip you a new asshole. You're fucking hot. All right, I love Canadians. <laughs> I went to school in Canada from 79 to oh. 83. All right, oh. and you know I was I was a basketball star. So what happened was I walked down the street. I, I used to get hit in the head with panties. <laughs> Canadian chicks love me, all right? Oh, because, listen, oh, I got to clear up the ethnicity thing, all okay. right? I, I, I'm, I'm born in New York City, and my mother's born in the Bronx also, all right? My father was born in, in Cape Cod, all right? So I guess I'm second-generation American. I don't speak Spanish or Italian, and I don't speak Portuguese, so whatever oh. you get that shit from. But anyway, I was in Canada. I was a fucking darling. <laughs> I'm walking down the street, and he's fucking hit me. So listen, man, I can't be mad at you because I'm totally fucking crushing you. All right, then I Google you, and I see you're married to the guy, you, the boy next to you right the there. Boy. All right, yo, dude, you're a fucking overachiever like me. You got to come to the Bronx and sit at the Overachievers Club because no way you're supposed to get a hottie like this one. Wow. Yeah. I feel like pure organic dry cleaning doesn't have access to many women because I'm not that... You know what I mean? You're beautiful. Like, what are you talking about? I'm 43. I'm not. No, like, now you're doing. No, I'm not the pandering. Thing. I'm not. I yeah. don't mean to, but I, I am. You know what I mean? He's you a lives little in New York. overly excited, right? New York's dog city, right? No, he doesn't see blondes. Maybe there's fucking models walking around. Oh, everywhere. that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Are you gonna fight him? Why would I? He gave me a huge compliment. But are you guys gonna duel for my honor? Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I think he's trying to court me now. Good, babe. That's free dry cleaning for us. <laughs> You're gonna let him steal me away? I mean, I and take him... me to the Bronx hey, with just, our two hey, children. Man, just give her back, you know. Hey. Take it for a ride. What? What? He does have nice teeth. Actually, I bet you he'd be a real gentleman, you know. No, he's sweet. But you know, I, I also he's see I see him being very sweet, being a real gentleman, and at the end of the night being like, and it's all downstairs. So maybe get on your knees and start working. It's all downstairs. Between my legs. Oh my you know? God, babe. He's not like that. He's you don't a think sweet so? guy. No, I bet you in real life. I'll he's tell you, sweet. he gives me pause a little bit because this is how my mind works. I bet you there are people who are really like this. Like, you know, it's genuine. He's really like this. Well, th- here's what I'm saying though. So I've, I've had friends over the course of my life who, you know, when you have a friend that's kind of eccentric yeah. and, and you, you have to tell new people like, this is what the, he's yeah. really like this. And you reassure them. I would need to be reassured about him because my first thought goes to savage, violent psychopath. No. Because the first thing that I think when I meet somebody like this 
is I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like even that freeze frame we're looking at right now. <laughs> no. I don't know if it's right. Like no. as he closes a freezer door that you're never going to get out of. No. Or, no, no, I'm serious. And so I just need to know from someone that knows him, like, no, no, he's actually a sweet guy. And he's not the kind of guy who's like, hey, <laughs> another thing, I'll, fucking, I'll be there on Friday. And then camera goes off. And he's like, I'll cut your fucking throat. I'll no. catch you. Yeah. <laughs> No, guys like this that are the big personalities are like the teddy bears inside. No, no, no. That's they what I've are learned. sometimes. Yeah. Or they're psychos. Of course. Well, game affable. recognized game, Segura. Game no, recognized game. I'm not charming and affable. Okay. Affable, charming guys are the ones you have to worry about. Guys who are like, hey, everybody, how you guys doing today? That's the guy who could be genuinely like that or could be the opposite of that. Okay. I'm serious. I know. John Wayne Gacy, Ted Bundy, Gary Ridgway come to mind. All these really... Well, your friends, all your pen pals. Do you write to them still? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I see what There's you're saying. More. So you need somebody to vouch for him is what you're saying. Like yeah, but friends. I mean, like, if he's really like this, then he's probably like a really sweet, fun guy. I think he's around. a sweet guy. I think his energy is a little much... Yo, so I know the deal. You're doing the podcast. Oh, you know, no. you're the comedian. I'm so embarrassed. I can't. I, I, would, it's, I saw your list. It's, it's, it's kind of like a D list. But anyway, I, I'm not, <laughs> not going to fight with you. I'm a fucking dry cleaner. I pick up people's clothes. All right? I went on Instagram not to get famous. I went to, to, to get my business, to double the size of my business all right so my personality is like that so and people are gravitated to it and that's how this shit was born it's collateral damage all right so what yeah. bottom line is you know you're the comedian i bet you next year fucking more people recognize me than they recognize you all right because oh. i don't snap on people and fucking be condescending oh. and all that shit i love i really like people i, I generally like them okay and it was passed down from the great parents that i had all right they love people and when they died thousands of people came to their funeral because they were very well loved and respected so i get it from them so yeah i'm hyped up and everything like that but that's really me people come to my store 15 people that i never met before came to my store oh wow and well, good. More. It's good for business. Yeah. I, I, can't, I don't want to watch more. I'm too embarrassed. Why? It's great. So, yeah, I'm all jacked up. But, Tina, you know what? You started off bashing me, but towards the middle, you started getting soft. Said, oh, because, oh, really? Look at me. I am, sweet. For, I am good looking. All right. So, I got fat. What are you going to do? You get old. I'm 50 out. I'll be 59 next month. What are you going to do? But the bottom line is, if you go on my Facebook, I went out with a lot of hot girls, and you're right in my wheelhouse, man. 40 to 45. My girlfriend now is 41. My last one's 40. I love you girls. All right? And wow. you really are hottie. So Thanks. now, listen, here's the deal. All right? I know that's your job. You, you, you're like a poor man's Tosh. You go on, you <laughs> cut people up, but you really... You were liking me in the middle. And to me, it was like the, you're like the, the in, in kindergarten. And you, the, you like the boy, and you're pulling his ear and pulling his hair, but you really like him. Of course. All right, so yeah, you didn't, you didn't think I was that bad. Okay, no, it's part I of the didn't. show. I get it. I I'm know. Not, I don't take it personal. I have thick skin. Like I said, I'm tougher than woodpecker lips. Yes. All right, but all I'm doing, I'm a, you're the comedian, I'm the dry cleaner. That's right. Yeah. Pure organic dry cleaning. Listen, I, I think he's a sweet man. Mm hmm. I just think the energy would make me suicidal. Maybe go maybe, over time. That's maybe, all I'm saying. You're yeah. a lovely. You are a lovely man. I think you are sweet and kind. Maybe find out over dinner. I don't know. Oh my God, Tom! <laughs> why are you pimping me out? <laughs> it's fun. I don't even. What's his name? Do we know his first name? I don't know. Is it Steve? No. Steve. I don't know what it is actually. Sorry, sir. Um, what did he? So he did like the thing where he's like, uh, he like kind of drops his jabs, but like pleasantly. He's like, eh, it's kind of a D-list show, you poor man. <laughs> yeah, totally. yeah. Um, I'll, I'll be more famous. You're definitely not going to be more famous, but, but <laughs> like, not even close. But <laughs> it's, it's not going to be a competition. But uh, D-list, I think uh, I think we're even teetering on C-list at this. Studio. Oh no, we've got some great people coming up. Yeah, yeah, we have D-list. Yeah, yeah, oh no, yeah. we've got some poor man's Tosh. Oh, I could, wow. I'll, I'll take, yeah, wow. it's fine. It hurts. I mean, I mean, Tosh had us on his show. That's right. He's sir. taken some of our yeah. things and give, I mean, credit at. Credit but I would like it. to know more. I just want to know, are you like a Garth Brooks type where you put this on for the public and then behind closed doors, you're just an animal, a vicious, violent, bloodthirsty, psychopathic animal, or, you know, just, just an affable, fun guy. Okay. I just, that's that's the part that I want to know. Yeah. Okay. You know, are there bodies in the dry cleaning 
You think Red's gone? Who knows? I mean, he's like, my last one was 40. Well, what happened to her? Poor Red. Right? You think Red's just tired all the time? Of course she is. She's like, fuck. She's like, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Take it easy. 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 How you doing? It's Graham <laughs> and Twitter. <laughs> New to Twitter at Big Time Tommy. Here's my thought of the day. The world is going to judge you no matter what you do. So live your life and don't give a fuck about what people say. That's such a big cigar. Is that a normal size cigar or does he have tiny hands? It's a, a large gauge, as they say in the aficionado world. Mm. No, I think it's, it's, it's a big cigar. Yeah. Big. It's a big cigar. Also a great message. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love big time. What is like? Big he's time. like, don't forget to try hard, and don't forget if you fall down, you got to pick yourself <laughs> back up. Take it easy. Make America old school again. OS for life. Hey, stick it easy. Look, look at the jewelry, Jesus. I Christ. know. How you doing? Instagram and Twitter. It's big time, Tommy. <laughs> and here's my thought of the day. Oh, here we go. Great things happen when you distance yourself from negative people. Remember that. Get rid of the negative people around you because they will always bring you down. That's true. That, that is, is true. That's very true. Yeah. I thought he was going to say great things happen to those who wait. Me too. Oh, you're great right. Great things happen <laughs> to those who wait. Take it easy. <sighs> <laughs> if you right. got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. <laughs> Where do you think he gets his wisdom from? Does he just get a bag of fortune cookies? It might be. And he opens them and he's like, But that's the thing about reading a fortune cookie. Even when it's something like cliche, you're like, yeah, you know, it's a good message, right? Yeah. It's like the four agreements. Everybody knows those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you read the book, the four. Did you likening him to Don Miguel Ruiz? 100%. (laughs) He's just the Italian Northeastern Don Miguel Ruiz. (laughs) It's very simple. That's the old school way. Make America old school again. Take it easy. Take it easy. That cigar is enormous. enormous, Is it pleasurable to have a cigar that big even? It's just, it's really uh, subjective. It's it's personal preference. I mean, he's got... I mean, me, no. Me, no. But look at my little mouth. (laughs) Your petite mouth. I have a petite little (laughs) mouth. I cannot fit such a big object in there. Well, we'll make it fit. Oh! (laughs) Jesus Christ, Tommy. <laughs> That's when I, you ever seen that in the porns? No. When she's like, I don't know if I can make it. I, oh, I don't think I can fit that in my mouth. He's like, we'll make it fit. Like that. That's like every blowjob in porn nowadays, though. Pretty much. I feel like they're, uh, the girls are always gagging and choking and tears are flying. It's the best. Do you know yeah. when um, a great time is to record a video to share with audio? Hmm. When there is beautiful background noise. How you doing, Instagram? It's Big Time Tommy. You know when you're considered old school? <laughs> when you're blowing the leaves in the dirt the leaf out of the driveway every 15 minutes. Why? Oh, my God. That ain't my cigar. Shouldn't be there. Oh, my God. I don't know what was going on with that one. I don't know. Take That's it. the old school life. Make oh. America old school again. Take it easy. See, my problem, I'll tell you what my problem is. When there's people that are deliberately creating content like this, yeah, like he's doing like a, a shtick, yeah. I have a hard time like, all right, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the TikTok people that I like, mm-hmm. it's so genuine and sincere that I'm, I feel like I enjoy that more. Mm-hmm. You know, than like someone putting on a character or whatever. Well, I, I, think, I think he's time. being himself, like, though. I think Tommy really is this way. Well, it's a little, it's a little elevated. I mean, yeah, he turns it up, but I think he's yeah. a genuine guy. Yeah. I think he really is old school. I think he really wears that shit daily. Right. I think he yeah, smokes 100%. that cigar. No, that's his life. And I think he, he is the kind of guy, if you're like, ah, oh, man, like you, you're bummed out. He's like, you know what you got to do? Oh, my God. Get away from the negativity. That's what he tells you in real <sighs> Who life. Who are you marrying? Big Time Tommy or Organic Dry Cleaning? Well, I don't think I don't think Big Time Tommy's cutting up bodies, but. <laughs> well, interesting. Why don't you? Because they're both kind of similar in that they're big personalities. They're very bold and. You this know? guy's more subdued for sure. This guy's more subdued? Than organic dry cleaning guy? Yeah. Are you fucking crazy? Right. No, he's under control a little bit more. Come on. Right. He's not as fran- kind of frantic. I and... like it. I like to take it easy. And I could be 
you know, I could be like mid-sized Tommy and go out with him. <laughs> mid-sized Tommy. Big time Tommy and mid-sized Tommy hanging <laughs> That's out. That's cute. I like that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Rolling okay. around in his Cadillac, smoking cigars. Look at those fingers. Oof. I already got the gold chain. I can you do, out. yeah. Hang out with him. Yeah. Okay. I bet big time Tommy would be fun to hang out with. I'm not, not saying that organic dry cleaning guy wouldn't be, but again, I would like the FBI to do a sweep first. Okay. You know? All right. Check out the premises. Okay. Maybe send a canine unit. Okay. Cadaver dog. Okay. <laughs> See if the, uh, the coroner is like, oh, we're here all the time. <laughs> Babe. And you're like, oh, okay. They're not. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're, you're really into your, you have your specific lane of uh of clips and entertainment yeah. can we get to them please you want to do it right now yeah okay i feel like i need fun that guy i don't like being called out by the guy i feel bad about myself and stuff i feel bad for hurting his feelings you do yeah why why yeah i feel like i hurt that guy's feelings now i feel like a shit you did hurt his feelings but oh, he actually God. feels i, I like think it. he feels i think he feels redeemed now like he got his message out and he got he is was um, big enough to move past the um, like the vindictive. Like he wasn't like really throwing super mean insult. You know what I mean? Like he was actually. Confident. I know that's why I'm upset because he's a better person than me, and I feel it. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm like, oh man, now this guy fucking won. Yeah. Uh, Ugh, it's so upsetting. It is. Well, All let's right. watch some tick touched videos and then. That'll clean my yeah, palate. Uh, by the way, I saw those terms. I got to give credit to uh, online. Yeah. Tick tarted and tick touched uh, from Danielle. You know, uh, uh, what's her name? Danielle something. Dizoli? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Her and username Derek. Yeah, Dizoli. She's been on Twitter with us forever. She's forever. Canadian. Yeah, her and username Derek yep. call, called it that. And I was like, those are good terms. <laughs> what are we looking for? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, I was just looking for the original tweet. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so I have not seen any of these. I know I'm so excited to show you. And I think this will get me back in the mood of the show. I feel like that I feel like I was oh, put I on blast. You. Like all I'm right, not I'm right. not having fun now because I know that I hurt somebody's feelings. I know it sucks, right? Yeah, like these people are never gonna know because I don't even know how they figured out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, some of them I'm surprised they figured out even how to use the app. Do you well, know what I why mean? Why would you say that? They're just special. They're so simple. All right, let's show, come on. Let's okay, get into all it. Right, here's the I got a sorbet. Hey, sis, I'm drinking water. But I'll talk to you later. I got to go to the store. Is you drinking water? I hope so. So let me go to the store and get some water. Drink clean water. I will call you back. Bye. Huh? What was that? Well, that was your favorite lady. My sister's down. My sister's I at know, the mountain. What the hell was? What did we just watch? Well, I think she thinks she's on a phone call. <laughs> I think she thinks she's on a FaceTime. Do you know what I mean? No, she doesn't think she is. That's what? The, that's the bit she's doing. This is a phone call. Maybe, yeah. But it's a good message. Still, you gotta drink your water. Oh shit! All right. Let's see. Hey, sis. I'm drinking water, but I'll talk to you later. I gotta go to the store. Is you drinking water? I hope so. So let me go to the store and get some water. Drink clean water. I will call you back. Bye. Well, what do you think about it? I mean, it's just such utter nonsense. <laughs> and there's no way anybody... Are you drinking water? You go to the store. You should go to the store and drink the... What? Yeah. That's terrible. But she always puts out a message... I know. Like helping people, which is why I like her I mean, this videos is, this the most. This is definitely... Okay. She's like, you got to stay Can inside. It's hot out. Can we move on, please? <laughs> She's like, you got to stay... You got to stay cold, uh, cool because it's hot out. Okay. I mean, these are good. These are better than big time Tommy messages, I think. All right. Let's move on. She's for the people. Princess, this isn't easy for me, but you haven't been following the rules. I have to do this. So go get your notebook and write lines. Write 20 times. So I will not do this again, daddy. <laughs> Ugh. So this is a this whole. This guy might make me the most <laughs> uncomfortable. Of everybody on this. Yeah, thing. it should because this is a whole new lane of TikToks I found. This is the princess daddy category mm -hmm. where there are princesses and daddies and clearly he's the daddy and he's disciplining the, the princess 
Or and the that's little. A, that's a TikTok lane? And it's a whole new rabbit hole I've fallen down. Because he did one, I remember that he was like, it's okay, come here, give me a hug. Correct. He's so, like, <laughs> 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 I don't know why he talks like that. Give me a hug right now. <laughs> he talks like Yoshi. So, but... <laughs> But then there's <laughs> that's not what I meant. Oh, but yeah. But there's littles. They're, yeah. They call themselves littles too. But anyway, okay. that this is disturbing, and he well, makes a lot of really I am disturbing ones. Wildly uncomfortable. <laughs> so let's move on. There's a little. I'm a little. Deal with it. You don't like it? Get off my page. But you will not be mean to me or other littles. Let me see who else is a little on my page. So this is she's playing a baby. Right. So there are adults who like to play babies. <laughs> Okay. And she sucks on a passy and there's a lot of TikTok videos devoted to I being like, like don't keep, hate on me. Keep the the, the ball moving. Can we, sure. Yeah. I'm just I'm fascinated. I can't believe I'm, you're not as fascinated I'm trying by to this shake human behavior. The feeling that I have. Shake it off. Shake it off. Ugh. Okay, go ahead. Next next Today's Friday. Yeah. I haven't heard from Roger. Remember I told you I gave my phone number to him three times. So I guess he's pushing me off. No Roger. No phone number, no Roger. Oh, well. Huh? What do you think about that? What? That's not, not, nothing about that was good or made any sense to me. <laughs> well, she often likes to leave videos about her dating life, so it's nice to be updated on how she's doing. <laughs> Roger didn't call her. How do you think? I mean, how do you feel about that? Why do you think Roger didn't call I've been waiting all week to show these to you. I've been waiting so long. I've been keeping these under my hat. No phone number, no Roger. Is that what she said? Right. Roger didn't call her back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, no, I get it. Okay. Okay, we'll move to the next video if you're not interested. Milarne. I mean, hello. My name's Prism. I'm originally from Neptune, but I've been on Earth studying your flora and fauna for 22 years. I would like to go home now, please. Gil, I'm looking at you. Pick me up. She's a savage in bed for sure. <laughs> That's all you have to say about her? She's kind of cute. That's it? Nothing else to comment on? The mental state? What's she's, going on? This is a cosplay that's yeah. very serious. She's taking it very seriously. She's trying to go home. I get it. Okay. I wouldn't mind taking her home. Okay. Next vid. This one? Seriously? I like her. Yeah, but you'd have to talk to her and stuff, right? Well, yeah, until she stopped talking. Okie dokie. Next vid, please. And this is what I'm doing. Walking down the road in clown makeup and the dog's walking behind me. She decided she was going to go for the walk, too, if I could make sure I didn't get in no goddamn trouble or something. Duchess, hurry the fuck up. You a slow-ass dog. We ain't <laughs> never going to make it to the air condition. That's it? That's, are you sure you didn't stop prematurely? No, that's the end of the thing. So this is a gentleman that likes to dress up as the Joker, mm -hmm. and he makes these videos about he and his dog. He seems stuff. like a really chill dude. I like the way he, uh, it's probably like a hot day outside. And he's like, yes. fucking dumb dog. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up. Well, what's interesting is that he does wear full Joker makeup before yeah, he does Yeah, and he looks like he's these... wearing like a sweater or a coat or something. Yeah. Fingerless gloves. The Always dog's like, well, it's fucking hot out, man. But Tom, what's this, a pure sign of insanity, a sure sign? Fingerless gloves. Fingerless gloves, yeah. Always, right? Okay. Absolutely. Next vid. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think the dog's going to live? Yeah, I hope so. Hey, can I... Top you off, baby. You know, I really wish this coffee was my spit and this cup was your mouth. I think that would just be really, really great. <laughs> okay, I like him. <laughs> I How like, dare you gender that person? I like that person. That was so good. We uh we missed, by the <laughs> way, National Non-Binary Day, International. It was yesterday. Yeah. Well, and our first, our, 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 our I don't want to say son, but it's his first birthday this Saturday, and I'm going to throw a non-binary party. What do you think? I think it makes a lot of sense. Should I get mad at people when they try to gender? <laughs> gender our child? Yeah. <laughs> Did you like that one, though? 
That one was great. This is the best TikTok I've ever seen. Well, keep rolling because there's even more. Of this person? Well, not of this. This person only did this one. That was really cool. Thanks. Wait until you see what else I I actually would like you to send me (laughs) that video to my phone so I can send it to people just randomly. Yeah, I know. I like it a lot. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> if right? you're listening, right? Uh, I mean, that TikTok just, <laughs> and when I say that TikTok, I mean that person. <laughs> that TikTok lady mm-hmm. ate a the bristles on a hard comb, like a hard hairbrush. A hairbrush, a wooden she hairbrush. She bit the fucking bristles off yeah chewed them up and yeah. saw then was like, got a little diet coke to watch it <laughs> can we watch it again god damn oh, she's great <laughs> fuck she's eating multiple brushes oh i like this one a lot <laughs> hold on um yeah this one was a huge find for me. I was very I like, excited. I like when that I found the um, somebody points an arrow, like they throw a right. digital arrow, and that like the mirror moves. Like that's the that's the, the weird thing to pay thing. attention to. Yeah. Like hey, you see this mirror move right. on the side. Well, she, not only is she eating the bristles of a hairbrush, she's wearing like bunny ears, like a bunny ear no, hat. She, she's, she's she's old enough to know better. Ins- she's, she's insane. <laughs> this is an insane person. This person is eating. Yeah fucking anything on the ground fully this, tiktok yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 i think this one's this one might be my best find find yet this was just in your feed yeah this shit this shit is crazy. yeah i know i'm i'm like going into i'm totally elevating the level uh, the style of beats is elevated what do you say Tom? Uh, <laughs> i'm still guru the rhyme premiere. styles elevated yeah. the style of beats is elevated yeah. but I'm still guru and premiere yeah that's how um, i feel like my feed is getting dude yeah what in the fuck yeah it's pretty great right yeah yeah, I was pretty proud of this one. And then she just like uh, wash down those bristles, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cleanse Do the palate. Do we have more? Yeah, there's oh, a few. Oh man, more. I'm so stoked. These are such I good have winners. I had some requests for hex spells, so I thought I would start off with an easy one. Um, it's a witch's spit spell. So what you're going to do is you're going to spit um, on the person's doorstep, um, the sidewalk in front of their house, um, their car, uh, a chair where they sit, somewhere that person resides quite frequently. And then you're going to want to go back to wherever you cast your spells. Um, you're going to want to lick a black candle and then put your intention within that black candle through energy work um and you're gonna let that candle burn all the way out and then bury the remnant okay Okay. does easy peasy that's all you're gonna do you're gonna spit on and around someone's house you're gonna lick a black candle doesn't and then you're gonna write your spell on them (laughs) doesn't this kind of like just show (laughs) demonstrate to anybody out there just how unstable so many people are. <laughs> like you live in a world of that's full of people like this, eating tooth fucking hairbrushes, being like, you need to spit on a chair and lick a black candle. And like, it's just, I know. Hey, baby, you need that bad girl. You can write in your journal. It's just, it's, it's insanity. Well, that's kind of why I'm so obsessed with TikTok. It's because you get to see what's really going on in the country. <laughs> it's not fucking what it, you're doing. But it is what's really going on. <laughs> you don't think what... this is what's really happening in the world? Dude, you have He's... a portal into madness is what you have. <laughs> That's what you've I have a, a tear in the fabric of reality. This is terrible. No, this is but this woman honestly thinks that if you want to put a hex on somebody, you spit on their cubicle no, and then I you heard lick it. a candle and then I mean it's this is this is insanity, but she's 100% sincere. Okay. She's uh, there's a lot of witches on on TikTok. A Let's lot of witchcraft. Move forward. Okay. If we must there's no church out on a hill. There's a preacher used to preach, and the congregation used to get together on Sunday morning. Preacher John used to sit there. I'm gonna go ahead and. <laughs> Do you like this? <laughs> 
This one was specifically for you. This one I came across. Why? And I go, is this, this is for, for Tom. Why is this for me? This one's for Tom. Why? Because it hits so many of your notes that I think you like in a TikTok. Like? <laughs> well, there's a lot. <laughs> the framing is excellent. There's a lot of ceiling. <laughs> He's making no sense, which is my favorite. <laughs> There's a questionable amount of teeth in his mouth, if any. It's nonsense. This is this is the essence of what we do here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just click on the next video. He's yeah. I, I got I got to jump. Click on the next. I'm gonna have to jump. Next one. All right, story time. <coughs> So me and my friend were at a party, you know, at a friend's house, and he met a chick. You can never tell, sometimes you can never tell if a chick's a man or a woman sometimes. And, you know, he got to play the luck of the draw. <laughs> and he took this chick down to my friend's basement, down the house, you know, and we're going to go do the chicka wong wong to her, and... And uh, so he's down there, and they're getting in the mood, and he said, why do I feel like there's a log in your pants? He goes, ah, that's not that, ain't that. You know, he pulled down the girl's pants, there's a seven-inch long on it. And he ran out, and he ran out of the house, and oh, I'm not gay, I'm not gay. Find out the guy's name Susie. Nick named Susie. Isn't that a cool story? Yeah, thank you. Do you feel like you could use that story on your next special? How many people do you think just unsubscribe? <laughs> I think we just got a whole bunch of new followers. It is drool at the end, by the way, yeah. <clears throat> and the dog what? is asking on board. <laughs> at the very end, he spits out of his mouth a little. Oh, just look at the last few frames. No, I thought, I, I noticed it too. What? Yeah, just scroll back a little. Okay, go. Now watch this part. It's the best part it's icing on the whole cake okay Nick King Susie <laughs> knew it I got him got him I knew it I knew it I knew I could get him I knew it I know what my husband loves I knew this is I could a really get you. good story. I knew I could get you. <laughs> this is a really good story he told. And it was all about the one-two punch with this guy. I knew I had to give you two pieces, the first one and then this. <laughs> really? Thank you. Jesus. I knew he'd be your favorite. So let me guess. Yeah. You follow and like and encourage this guy? Of course, of course. Listen, I do actually like these people. I enjoy what they do. <laughs> to me, this is more fun than any fucking shit on television. Uh, this is more entertaining for me than a lot of stuff. <laughs> Better Susie. than a lot. <laughs> Nick and Susie. All right. <laughs> this is uh, better than m many movies on iTunes right now. Don't you think? Mm, yep. It mm. is. This is way more interesting. This is real. This is That's a real believe. person. He's not playing a character. He's not trying to be somebody else this is real ask josh if he would go <laughs> interview this guy please don't would don't he? he bear please don't josh would you josh yeah. yes. yes yeah yep he's game josh is the best <laughs> is that it uh oh 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 no Papa. <coughs> oh god Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, if you're if you're listening, this guy on TikTok, his handle is Redneck Grandpa. He's sitting in a wheelchair and he's using a bandsaw on something on his lap. <laughs> like he's he could easily <laughs> <laughs> miss easily or push too hard or slip and that bandsaw would go right into his thigh <laughs> meat and just and he's already in a wheelchair yeah no so it'd be he doesn't have much much left to go with you know what i mean anything, like you don't want to 
damage. Does he actually talk? Um, I think it's just footage of him sawing on his own leg. Yeah. Yeah, and then his grandson having genuine concern towards the end of the video. Oh, he well, does. Sincerely. Like, yeah. stop doing that. He's like, Jesus, stop doing that, please. Let's see. <laughs> that is terrible. Damn. Grandpa. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. That ain't even funny. Yeah. <laughs> That's not safe, Grandpa. <laughs> Looks like he can kick your foot in his chair, though. Sometimes people in, in wheelchairs will <laughs> still kick your foot. Hmm. Really good but one. that upsets you when they kick your foot because you feel like they're, they're not really as. Yeah. They yeah. don't really need the wheelchair. If, the, if you can kick your foot, you don't really need the wheelchair. There's quite a few kicky footers in Hollywood. If you're if you're <laughs> driving around Hollywood, you'll you'll see a few. <laughs> and they kicky 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 foot across the street, and they're like, "Hey, give me something." And you're like, "I'm in a chair." Yeah. Like you're kicky footing though. <laughs> you hate the kicky footers. I don't like kicky footers. I know it doesn't bother me in the least, but you feel like they're they're a fraud or something, right? Like you're yeah, I go get up. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I get. You upset. feel like they're misrepresenting themselves. Yeah, they are. Because you're like you can walk, or you can at least scoot, scoot. You have leg power. Yeah, yeah. That's not fair. I know. No, I see them doing tricks and turns. Yeah, and motoring across the <laughs> tricks street. Tricks and turns. Yeah. Did you know that they came out with a new Barbie? That yeah. she's uh she's black and in a wheelchair too. Mm -hmm. So I made sure to get them uh, for our sons. For our sons. Right, because I'm I'm a woke mom. Okay. You're going to be like, this is just a wheelchair. Do you think our kids are going to like wheelchair Barbie? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I think they're going to flush her right down the fucking toilet. <laughs> I mean, they haven't really been into dolls. so <laughs> That's only because we haven't. Oh, right. We haven't been like insisting <laughs> that they play with dolls. That's what I'm saying. How I know. They're always into like cars and trucks. And, and dirt shit. and stuff. Yeah, I know. You got to give them wheelchair Barbie. You got to reprogram them, you know? Yeah. I saw a really cool mm -hmm. post about. Um, international non-binary I wish I had my phone with me I left my phone at home and uh, just saw it. it was it was really it was inspiring bananas it was inspiring <laughs> do I have any uh, more to there? you have one more okay ready I hope it's as good as redneck grandpa but this public announcement goes out to all you bitch ass niggas that motherfucker claim that I'm a false blood bitch call me out and see if I'm a fucking false blood you niggas don't work no wreck Suwu, bitch ass nigga. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, this is a whole other lane. What's the lane? Of TikToks. It's uh, gang, gang, gang people mm -hmm. being like, I'm a real gang banger. That's a big thing? Yeah. That's a whole other lane. On TikTok. On TikTok. They're like, this is the platform. Yeah. They're to like, share that I'm for real. Exactly. And they call out, they do shout outs to their cliques and their gangs and stuff. Okay. I don't necessarily want to go down that lane too much. I'm a little scared, to be honest with you. What are you, what are you scared of? Well, I mean, I don't want to get involved in that world. Like, don't. Don't get involved in that well, world. Well, I just thought you'd like this gentleman because it's funny. <laughs> but there's a lot of vatos covered in tats and they're yeah. like... And they're putting know, TikToks up. They're putting TikTok And then they say like all that stuff. Yeah, if I'm a wall fucking false blood, you niggas don't work no wreck. Suwu, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Um, Sue Wu. What does Sue Wu mean? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, do you understand? I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. All that I don't know. Said. Sue Wu. It sounds like he's like, just come get some. Yeah. <laughs> come get some. Yeah. Basically. Right. Yeah. yeah. You want to see this shit? Sue Wu, motherfucker. Come yeah. on over. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Right. <laughs> it was pretty rad, though, I thought. Yeah. That... I liked his passion. I like that. He oh, was... he's passionate. Yeah. He's real as fuck. No, see, like, I believe him. <laughs> like, I yeah. totally believe him. I believe him, too. Su Wu. Su Absolutely. Wu? Yeah, no, he's he's going to give it to you. I would not question this dude uh, at all. Su Wu, bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> What's that other one that guy said by the pool all the time? He's like, we out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we out of here. He's supposed, he, he was supposed to say, we out here. I think he was saying, we out of here, because he's such a fucking TikTok. Yeah. He doesn't even know what the expression is. Yeah, he was saying, uh, what was the other thing he said? That's what I mean. There was another phrase he kept no, he, saying. He was saying two things. Dead ass. Dead, 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 dead ass. ass. Dead ass. We out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Dead ass. What's that, Any? Did you have something to add? Uh, I was just going to say, he said, we up out of here. Oh, we up out of here. That's even worse. That's <laughs> even worse, yeah. Why? Tell him, explain, because I'm fucking lame. We up out of here. Like, to get up out of here? Is that That's just lame? Uh, I mean, I can't explain. 
I can't explain why he says it. Yeah, it's not, it's <laughs> it's, not even it's the. Supposed it's like to be stupid. We out, you. <laughs> yeah. we out. We out. Not we up out of here. Yeah, we it's up out of here. Is not, it's not even the expression. No, it's, it's yeah. Not, it's not even it's nothing to do with the same thing. Right. No, we up out of here, huh? We up out of here. That's not. That's not the. It's we out here. You know, like we out here doing it. Yeah, like right. That's what we he's, out here is blood. We out here, son. What? That's how you say it. Yeah, just shake your head. You don't have to say nothing. Okay, sorry. Sue Wu, well, he's in we Utah. That guy doesn't know any Crips. This uh, guy does. That guy knows a lot. Now, on on good news, also, I'm getting into Fortnite, which is where you learn all the cool dances, and I will give a full report. Once I'm in there, I'm currently downloading the app on my iPhone. Yeah. And I will be teaching you kids how to floss and how to do all kinds of neat oh, stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm housebound. I have two small kids. I don't I didn't know that. Um, this is the only fun I have. Brendan Urie plays Fortnite like every yeah, day that, for hours. That's right. That's why I kind of want to get into it. He does he, and, and he does on Twitch and all the money goes to charity. It's oh, all charity. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. He's the nicest, isn't he? Yeah, he's great. Um, where are you going to be, CP? I'm going to be in Salt Lake City August 2nd and 3rd. Uh, September 5th, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. September 6th, Chicago, Illinois. September 7th, Boston. October 3rd through 5th, Nashville. November 22nd, Seattle. November 23rd, Portland, Oregon. Tickets at Christina P. Online. Also, if you haven't already, please check out my brand new podcast, Where My Mom's At. Drops every Monday. So it should be, when you subscribe, it's going to be in there Monday. Uh, subscribe rate review and watch it on youtube also check out my two netflix specials mother inferior and the degenerates if you have not already tickets at christina p online all right uh this week if you are on this run i hope you come to a show i have the great josh potter with me we are in appleton wisconsin on the 24th rockford illinois the 25th uh 26th we're in peoria 27th Cedar Rapids and 28th Evansville. From there, I go to Wilkesbury, PA on August 6th, then Terrytown, Albany, Foxwoods, and Hampton Beach. And it ends in Burlington. And then we fly to Canada. And the shows are moving. We added second shows in Toronto, Winnipeg, and Vancouver. That is August 15th, 16th, and 17th. Uh, get tickets at tomsegura.com slash tour. Also, a quick note, Josh Potter, you can see in now. He, he, you could always see him in Seattle. That was at, that's now at Chop Suey. But he, he's adding shows in Tacoma and in Portland. And if you go to Josh Potter's Twitter page, it is J underscore Potter at J underscore Potter. You can see the ticket links to catch him that same weekend in either Tacoma, Portland, or Seattle. Really excited for him on those shows. Uh, have you seen this guy? I don't even know who this is. So having my cup of coffee. So there you have it. Hopefully he'll do that. Anyway, besides that, I still have the roses. They are decaying, but I'm going to hold on to the Madonna, okay? I think they're... The roses from Madonna. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I mean, they were twelve dollars and fifty cents if I take. Uh, and it is uh, seven thirty in the morning. Uh, you're probably just getting up and taking a bath, right? Okay. <laughs> and rehearsing today? Is your rehearsal today? Yeah, that's her rehearsal day. Uh, all right. So I'll see you on Monday, my love. Okay. Is this Madonna's uh, boyfriend right now? Like, how does he know her um, schedule and stuff? This, uh, I think it was a week or two ago, you sent, uh, there's a group chat with you, me, and Josh, and you're like, look into this guy. And uh, that was the first post that I saw. I was like, yeah, this is... Uh, this I guy. sent this guy over yeah, to you Yeah, you sent this guy's profile to us. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> does he have other cool videos? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'll look into it uh, and, and prep some for, for next time. Did I send you the video <laughs> of the guy smoking crack and blowing it into another guy's ass? You did not. Oh. Somebody sent that yesterday. I can't believe I didn't send it. 
<laughs> is that on your Twitter? Did you read No, it, my, it might be on Reddit or something, you know? Yeah. Guy blows crack smoke into someone's ass? Yeah. I'm on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, hmm. I would look for that one. It's pretty great. I don't know. <clears throat> wow. Well, this is certainly an interesting. He's right video. out of the hospital. He has like <laughs> hospital bands on his wrist and stuff. This guy. And he smokes, fucking rocks, and it it was really, it was really really nuts. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Do it any was, of these look familiar? Nope. No. Nope. Mm, it sounds um, like a real interesting clip. I wish we could see. That. Maybe re rephrase it. You know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't think people really need to see it. I think you can just talk about it. I feel like I don't need to see it. It must be a thing, huh? Uh huh. Like it's an actual thing to do that. To blow crack smoke into some other guy's butt. I would do it. I would try it. Like if somebody. I bet, I bet you can get high that way. I bet be you can too. Because it's in your b hole and. Uh, there's lots of capillaries. What Josh, is this? Will you smoke crack and blow the smoke up my ass? <laughs> he says, "Fuck yeah." Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Only if you do it back. Are you gonna do it back? Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, I guess we have our next video. No. Okay. I want to bring up something that's horrifying, horrifying to me. I'm so embarrassed. Is uh, when you say horrifying, is it like? <laughs> He goes, God. he's dead. <laughs> God damn. You ain't shit bad. That was terrible. That looked terrible. Mm. What were they pulling him on? Uh, I think he was on a long board and then they just tied yeah. a rope to the back of the car. I think they were cool. going full speed on the car. That's that looked smart. fast. That looked really fast. You remember when um, Back to the Future came out in the 80s and everyone did that? Essentially, like they'd go on the back of pickup trucks and try to skateboard on them. Yeah, and this dude should be squatting way lower. Whoa. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like he's dude. standing up way too straight. I can tell you that for sure. Oh, slow down, slow down. Oh, he's oh. dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, man, his shirt tore. You all right? He goes, he's dead. Yeah. Goddamn. Goddamn. He ain't shit bad. He ain't shit bad. And was he wearing a helmet? Probably not. Nope. No helmet, no, no. wrist. Mm. Nope. Uh Speaking of uh, embarrassing, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you uh, lately you've acquired a thing on Amazon uh, <laughs> that you've been wearing to go on your dad walks. Yeah. And uh, Whitney Cummings moved down the street from us, mm -hmm. and her fiance made a video. Well, she made a video of her fiance. Do you want to play it? Yeah. What's it? What's it labeled under? You know. Uh, I think it's uh, "Look for Hat," the folder that starts with the word "Hat." Hat. Okay. Yeah. So this this just came in um, a uh, Yesterday. text message to us. <laughs> yeah. Sunglasses and then like this white hat with like a it's like Lawrence of Arabia sun sun cape on the back of his hat. You think that's Tom? It might be. It looks <laughs> like him, but it looks like he's like doing some exercise. Wait. No. Guy with a beard wearing a hat with like a skirt on it. Yeah, one of those hats with a cape. You know. <laughs> no, yeah. but they're like. Is he walking around? Yeah. Alone? Yeah. Not with a blonde woman. No, no. I've seen him twice. I saw him today, and then I saw him yesterday. What was he doing? It looked like he was coming from like a trail walk or something up by the trailhead. Shorts. Shorts. T-shirt. Beard. Beard. Huh. So Whitney sends that to us. Um, that's her sweet fiance. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys want to see the hat in question? Okay, first of all, it looks normal. It is. Oh my god! It looks fine. Okay, so for people, you look like a, a chic or a beekeeper. So you see sunburn all over my head and neck, buddy. <laughs> No, you don't. It's a stark white hat, and it's got a really like nerdy long brim, and then you've got the neck flaps on. Yeah, there. it's great. I love it. Like an old Asian lady, like Chinese bought, ladies. You want like to know that. something? I just bought four more to give to the staff. Because so none of them are gonna mm -hmm. any. There's no way any's it. gonna wear that shit. He gets laid, right, bro? <laughs> no way. I can make anything work. Nah, that's true. And he could pull it off. First of now, all, let me tell you something. 
Su Wu. This shit's tight. Look at Su so well. Wu. I got my earbuds in. Yo, so that's another thing. So I got you these wonderful. Those dad are the dopest fucking earbuds Good. I'm for so exercise. Glad you Every time I buy any type of earbud, they fall out. I just they get like sloppy and then they just drop it. I can't. These are fucking amazing. Do you uh, want to say who makes them? So I think I think Bose, Bose makes them. So I got them. But it's online. a specific sport shock thing, and they just lock in. And these motherfuckers do not fall out. I love them. Look so, at him though. Look at this outfit. I just see like an intense fitness guy. I don't see. And by the way, it's hot as shit. I'm bald. I have fair skin. I burn in like 15 minutes in the sun. So if I'm going to go on a run or a hike or something, I don't know, man. I I, I don't care. I know. But now the neighbors are like, is that Tom Segura wearing a beekeeper's hat around the neighborhood? <laughs> like, I don't even. <laughs> that's the weirdest thing is that the craziest are, thing is I'm getting hit on. I'll be honest. Oh, with you. bullshit. Chicks are other with dudes me. up in the hill. No, a lot of hot chicks are like on you're your hot. dude walks. Yeah. Nobody. Actually, uh, you want to know what happened today? Wait, hold on. So, First of all, this photograph, just so you know, it's a for those listening. Not only does he have the chic hat on, and then he's got the nerdy Bose earbuds. He yep. looks like Shrek. You know how Shrek's got those little ears? Uh, it looks terrible. Go ahead. Uh, I was running today up near that trailhead. Right. These two girls were coming off of it, and as they turned and we made eye contact, they laughed. <laughs> Yeah. Like they came off of the trail and they're like, ha! like that. <laughs> it looks terrible. But you know what I'm, it means is that you're not trolling for puss when you're going on your walk. Oh, no, I, I like am. That. But I am. I'm putting it out there. I'm letting them know. I'm like, no one can see us. Look, we're all hidden under here. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wish you had a flap in the front, too, to cover your face. I would we wear it. You should do backwards, a backwards fucking, one. And the... I got to tell you, this, this sun, you know, this Southern California sun is brutal. And when I'm out there with that thing on, man, I feel like you it's feel free again. I, absolutely, it feels like it's spring. It's great. Can I tell you what I think? You and I are both embarking on embarking on now mm. as adults. Is that I don't give a shit. Oh, phase. I'm definitely leaning into I'm it. I'm leaning more. hard into it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I wear glitter on my shoes now, like I never did before. I wear crazy stuff just to yeah. feel alive. It's a great. It's a great phase of it's life fun. when you truly. Some people have that like their whole life. And yeah, they're, they're lucky. They're amazing. But some people, you got to grow into it. And uh, yeah. I totally am like, you know what? I don't want to burn. And I also, oh I don't think God. this photo, and it probably ran off with the sweat. <laughs> I usually also just rub a bunch of sunblock all over. So there's white streaks. Oh, that's a, such a yeah. dad thing you yeah, do. Yeah, I don't even care. I, I, when he puts on sunblock, he puts it, you, sl you slather it on. You don't rub it in. So then there's all these white streaks. And then in your ear, there's all white caked for like the days because mm -hmm. you don't shower it yeah, off either. That's yeah, me. that's there's dad. Yeah, there he is. But here's the thing. I've had such, you know, like there's certain things <laughs> where you're like basically never again. You know what I mean? Where you're like, yeah. I'm never going to. There's, there's Tom. Me. There I am. But here's the thing, man. I am so traumatized and upset by the some of the sunburns that I've experienced. Sure that I think about it now every time I'm about to leave the house and it's summer. You know what I mean? Like I think about those sunburns, the brutal ones where I'm like, no way. Even when we go like swimming and I know it's going to be, I don't know, 30 minutes or something. I douse, I'm gonna, cooking out there, I wanna bro. I want to absolutely lather myself in it. By the way, I know some of my cool fans are like, I want to be able to look like you, Tom. You can because uh, <laughs> that's where Here's I got the mine. Amazon. Listing. Yeah, I got the white one. It it's cool. The cool Bar sells them. Mm -hmm. This is unreal. And the dad, even the model looks dorky as fuck. But he looks him. like a fucking triathlete. He looks so cool lame. Triathlete. And he's like a handsome older gent. Yeah. And he looks like shit there. In you the know what dumb he doesn't have? He doesn't hat. have skin cancer. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, looks really good. Wait till you come here and you see all the guys wearing it. They're going to all be like, oh, this thing no, feels good. No, they're not. Yes, they will. And any will make it cool. Watch. I know. He'll make it cool. He'll be he like, see how it matches this in my shoes? It's just dope. Um, speaking of stuff, that, that, like cool stuff that you wear. So I had this epiphany along the lines of like towel drying myself off. Yeah. Where I was going to, I was like hanging around the house and I wanted to wear something special, right? I was like, I'm going to put on something nice so Tommy sees me looking nice. And then I was like, I don't want to wear that item of clothing. Because it's not a special occasion right now. Yes. 
And then I was like, dude, I, I've been doing this my <laughs> whole life where yes, I'm like, oh, no, 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 I've guilty. got to save that. We're both guilty. Yeah. I got to save that shirt for like a special event or I got to save it. And then time goes by and then I forget that I even have it or winter comes and now I can't wear it. It's more in line with that. Um, like we were just talking about, like, you know, not giving a fuck. It's, it's, it's in that same wheelhouse yeah. of like you buy the shirt or the shoes and you're like, these are awesome. But they're so awesome right. that like there's going to be a, an event that I wear these for. Right. And a then special it, you know, occasion. Yeah. Then a day goes by, a week, a month, yeah, two months. And you're like, I still haven't worn the thing. And you reach for it. And you're like, yeah, but I'm just going to like the store. And then I'm going to go pick up this thing. And then I'm going to be back here. So you don't wear it for that. And then six months go by. And you're like, oh, I still haven't worn my special shirt. Yeah. And then you realize, you know what? You just got to fucking throw it on, man. Just not, throw it on and, and wear it to Trader, Trader yeah, Joe. just do that. Or whatever you're doing. It's not special. No. Life is special. Every day is special. There you go. Because you, you got to you have the gift of tomorrow all the time. Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, remember, <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't get it done today, remember there's always next week. You can do it then. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> there's always the gift of other days coming. Uh, that's right. There's always the gift of so tomorrow. So just relax. But I'm like, why do I save stuff? That's so dumb. You should enjoy the I thing you have. I am so guilty. I mean, I, yeah, I, I still, that. I was looking in my closet today and I was like, this shit has tags on it. Yeah. I bought it a year ago. <laughs> it feels so stupid. Because I'm saving it. I'm yeah. saving Spe it. Special shoes. Yeah. Those are cool shoes. I, I can't wear them out. You yeah. Know? What like, the, the fuck, fuck is wrong? I, I had to bring that up in I, therapy. Really? I think I will. I think it's all tied into the... Um, and to the, the towel drying thing and the not putting ice in my smoothie. What if you're, what if your therapist, you say that and she goes, can I tell you something for real? And you're like, yeah. And she goes, I think you're just TikTok. <laughs> and you're like, excuse me. Uh, she has pretty much said that sometimes. Really? Yeah. Like sometimes the only way she can get through to me is to joke. Uh -huh. And she'll be like, do you really think that blah, 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 blah. Like she kind of will shame oh, me a little. She kind of learned your language. A hundred percent. Like she knows when I'm being sarc like if I'm too harsh and sarcastic, she'll be that way back to me. And I would like, love oh, yeah. if a therapist was like, what are you a fucking idiot? And you're like, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> She's like, I've never had somebody as stupid as you. on my chair." <laughs> I do worry that I'm boring the fuck out of her. Though. Boring them. Yeah. Out of 10, after 10 years of therapy, there's no way she's intrigued every time I'm in there. No, but I mean, she probably cares about you. She cares a lot about me. That's something you can't earn in a week. You no, know? dude. So but I know good. I bore the shit out of Speaking her. Speaking of caring, uh, what's this Willow Smith thing in here? <gasps> Which one? It says. Oh, fuck. Well, I here, love just, this. This happened just, on Red Table Talk. Let's do it. Let's show you. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. intention is to create more stop, love. Stop, stop. Okay. Okay. I had to set this up. Uh, okay. Okay. So I'm obsessed with Red Table Talk, which is a Facebook watch show that Jada Pinkett Smith, her daughter Willow, and her mom Gammy do. And they sit around a red table and they bring up like taboo issues mm -hmm. or just hard to discuss topics and they sit around and they hash it out. Okay. It's the fucking greatest thing ever. I'm a huge fan. I love it. It's so much fun. And so Willow came out recently about three weeks ago. <laughs> she came out as polyamorous. Oh, that's like me. Yeah. Polly and bi. Wow. Okay. Polly and I so think So this is bi. about this? She comes out as Polly and bi. Your intention is to create more love, more understanding, more community, more compassion in your life, then I'm all for it. But if your intention is to just have sex all the time and it's with not whoever. with whoever you want, that just doesn't sit well with me. That's not aligned with my purpose. Okay. So she's explaining to Gammy what she's and doing, Jada yeah. why she believes that like polyamory is better than traditional marriage gotcha. and such. So I really couldn't see myself in a quadruple, I mean, anything could happen, but personally, <laughs> male and female, that's all I need. Well, there it is. <laughs> so she's saying that she likes both male and female, and and she's like, I will do a three-way relationship, right. but a, a quadruple, and and Willow's head, I don't know if you, I mean, um, Jada's head kind of snaps, and she's like, what? And then Gammy's well, reaction is the best. She wants one of each, Gam. How does that make you feel? Because I think my stomach just, <laughs> and listen, you know me, Willow. Whatever makes yeah. you happy. And I think Willow is really young. 
And so yes. I have so much to learn. She oh has so my much, God. so much to experiment <laughs> with. <laughs> Oh, how old is she? Twenty one? No, Willow's younger. I'd say she's like nineteen, eighteen. Oh. Yeah, I have so much to learn. She has oh so my God. so much to. But how fucking? She's em- got to figure it out. <laughs> she's got to figure out how embarrassing is it to be Jada? 18. She's eighteen. Fuck. Yeah, when they, I mean that's an older eighteen though, because she's been in the spotlight. Her yeah, whole no, life. she's not like your average eighteen year old for sure. But, but could you imagine, Tommy, one of our kids? Like you're on the show with them. And then Ellis or Julian is like, guess what? Um, polyamorous, and I'm bi. And you know that they're just eighteen. Yeah, yeah. And you're, it's it's got to be so embarrassing you know for Jada do? and Gammy to be like, uh huh. Shut the fuck what up. I would shut do. the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, of course. I would just, I would mock our kid to his face. <laughs> oh, are you? Cool. <laughs> and then, because Willow's like, and I think traditional marriage is outdated and terrible. And I'm like, you don't even know. But there's what also these kids. Anything is. They've went through some shit with like. You know, you're not supposed to be that famous no. and exposed to some of these things that young. Oh so my they, God. they've gone through such a ridiculous trajectory yeah. in life that I, I feel like you have to forgive every stupid thing they say. A thousand yeah. percent. But yeah. as, that's why I'm not like, I'm not going to get into shitting on her no. for whatever she feels she is. But as a parent, like I'm just watching Jada's face and you have to yeah. be like, yeah, you gotta I'm be. supportive of your of your absolute lack of knowledge of how the world works right now it's got to be embarrassing back down what's it say it's true Jaden confirms oh relationship with tyler is that she didn't, really wait what what's that saying is that real gay? a while ago november 2018 that's is that a joke you're shaking your head I mean, what do you say i don't, I don't remember hearing about it yeah. i don't think he's is he knows this stuff <laughs> well, just say that. <laughs> okay um no, I, I thought that was something new. I didn't know what that was. Well, here's more. Of something I have done a lot of reading and research, and what you find a lot of the time is that marriage and monogamy is steeped in this idea of ownership. And so I feel like those <laughs> yes. underlying historical oppressive natures that were the beginnings of monogamy and marriage, marriage wasn't about love. It no. was about monetary exchange. Is I don't know. I um. But doesn't it hurt? I just can't like, get over what Jada Pinkett Smith's mother looks like. She's she looks stunning. like stunning. A thirty-eight. Gammy looks amazing. Yeah. But I'm just trying to think of what Gammy in her head. She's probably like, shut the fuck up. Of course just she stop is. talking, Willow. It's like shut trying to tell Gammy that it was international non-binary. <laughs> you know, she's like mm-hmm. because Gammy's reactions basically mirror everybody who's watching. Like she's the yeah. only one that has a normal reaction to what Willow is. Yeah, of course. And Jada's trying to be supportive and everyone is like Gammy's face. That's the which look is like, what of the somebody fuck are you talking about? That's the look of somebody that loves you when you say some stupid, stupid shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah. And when somebody loves 100%. you, they'll be like, Yeah. No, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. It's not so, Oh, it's terrible. So this whole episode is about polyamory and and quadruples and duples and all that shit. It was amazing. And there's at black underscore poly underscore <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was a, it's a, a very whole specific. World. That's a real niche group there. <laughs> Look at Gammy. Gammy's like, please. She's, she looks better than both of them. I think Gammy's probably like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. can we cut the cameras? What the fuck are you talking exactly. about right now? You're what? <laughs> what? What are you doing? What? Please stop talking. <sighs> Speaking yeah. of black people and crazy shit, any, it turns out that <laughs> your, your dookie shoot is on its own schedule you we've been learning about this we've been learning about this for a while and just so that the the audience knows um how often in an average week are you sitting on a toilet and making a regular brown bowel movement did you say in one week uh okay yeah let's go with one week uh possibly zero it depends on the week and this is every week every week buddy <laughs> brah i like you a lot and i don't want anything bad to happen to you i mean can can i put you in touch with somebody <laughs> it's supposed to be at a, you know n- yeah, normal once a day yeah you should be going every day Wait, so how often are you going no idea like they, they asked me in here about a week ago when's the last time i remember and i did i, I don't know Wait, what about now? Remember the last time you shit right now? 
I mean, I had food poisoning like okay. four four days ago or so. Okay, so that was, was it. In, yeah. And then in the last, what about yesterday? No. And the day before? No. Not since then. And does it hurt? No. You, you never have nice? discomfort. Never. I I did when I was a kid, um, but then I kind of got used to that. I guess the I discomfort. Guess got, no, no, no. My body got used to it, and then it didn't hurt. Take afterwards. me through an average day eating like let's say let's say you got up today did you have breakfast today uh yeah yeah what do you remember a, what you had i had mcdonald's which is really smart okay. which is great it's really i good. love the <laughs> stroop waffle mcflurry <laughs> yeah and the chicken mozzarella sandwich from canada it's my favorite item but what did you eat um i had two sausage egg biscuits two and, and then anything else and that didn't is make that? you brown i mean i'm sorry i just is that a lot? Well, for me, for me. Oh. But I think the two would make you brown. Well, let's, let's go <laughs> but through go it. ahead. Did yeah. you have anything else? Coffee? Uh, I had a hash brown. Mm -hmm. That's it. No orange juice, no water. No I did have orange juice. Orange yeah. juice. Okay. Orange juice. And then orange juice. that's the last time you ate. Yeah. Right? And I've just been having water. Since. And you've been ha you've ha you are drinking water. Yeah. All the that's, time. Oh, you do drink water like pretty regularly? All what about time. coffee? Hmm. Do you ever drink coffee? Never coffee. Have you tried drinking coffee first thing when you wake up in the morning? Maybe I mean, that makes never, you poop. What about, can, we, I, can I ask you this? Hmm. Two possible, like two things that maybe, like just to start shifting things. What about at least once a day, you choose whichever you prefer more. You do either like a mixed fruit bowl, so you get some fruits in the system. Or if you prefer veggies, we do like some either salad or sauteed, you know, greens. Like one of the two to kind of jumpstart the system. What You're do you asking, think? We do that. Here? No, I'm asking if you if would I be would. open to either of those ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. do you prefer, the fruit or the veggies? Fruits are good. You like fruits. Let's do fruits. Wait. Dude. So wait. What did you eat yesterday? Did we go through his food diary? What did you have for breakfast yesterday? Oh boy, uh, my memory is. Okay, really bad. but this morning you went to McDonald's and you had two. And what do you? I mean, did you order lunch? Will you order, order lunch with us? Uh, no, I think I forgot to order from with you. Oh. Mm. Yeah, my bad. Um, are okay. you eating three meals a day? Usually, if not, <laughs> it's going to sound bad, but if not, then I'll eat those three meals in one sitting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, wait. Take me to one of those. Mm -hmm. So, like, let's say you What was didn't dinner? Eat. Well, take me yeah. to one of those. Take me to one of those three meals in a, like, what do you do? You sit down and you eat. I'll eat at a full pizza, full large pizza, and some breadsticks. If you haven't eaten earlier in the day. If I didn't eat within the past four or five hours, I could eat. I could probably eat a pizza and a half. I eat like five burgers at a time. <laughs> it depends. So you have a crazy metabolism. What? <laughs> Wait, do you vomit after or you <laughs> keep the food in? <laughs> no. I and you don't vomit. go like, I got a shit. How about this? No. How about exercise? Do you exercise at all? Never. No. See, I bet that would kickstart the jams real, real fast for you. Like... I'm gonna shit soon because I ran this morning. Yeah, but I think the the fundamental problem, from what it sounds like now, mm -hmm. not to interrupt, but I agree your your exercise is a good idea. He's binge eating, so he's going a long time, and then he's packing the food in all his calories in one meal. I mean, no wonder your system's that's, but wonky. That's sometimes, sometimes he does that. No, but he's in. Yeah. So you're telling me that otherwise you eat three meals a day. But he also eats a lot of garbage. I, no, he no. No one's saying he has a winning diet. He's definitely <laughs> yeah, not garbage. doing this right. But yeah. But I'm trying to just like the exercise would help. People people go and they and they uh, you know when they, they hear somebody say something like this, they try to do a dramatic shift, and people don't want to do a dramatic shift. So the easiest thing to do that I think to make you poop more because you should, and you say you're drinking water, is like just try let's try like a, a you know an easy thing like go to the grocery store on the way home. You pick up the fruits you like. And Metamucil. Maybe some, maybe some Metamucil. That's definitely a good idea. Metamucil. But then like some blueberries, some strawberries, whatever. You chop that up, put it in a bowl, put saran wrap over it, put it in the fridge. And your day, you start with some fruits, you know? And then if you can manage either in the beginning or the end of the day, even like if you don't like working out, but like even going for like a 20-minute walk just to get your body moving, I mean, maybe you'll start making caca more, you know? I'll do it. I what's, mean, I want you and, to. But any, have you, when you finally do go brown, what's it like? Yeah, is it Does it hurt? Are you pushing? 
So it doesn't hurt. It's normal, but it's forever. Like, what do you it's mean? A, it's a lot of poop. Like I'll flush at least six times. <laughs> you're just you're shitting ropes. <laughs> just keeps coming. But it's a normal well, brown. Yeah, because it's, it's not backed up for five normal. days. And he's not constipated. Because I was thinking if you're making like pellets, like now you're backed up for days, the moisture, the the water gets sucked out of your poop, so you usually get constipated. But so you're not you're, shitting rocks. You're not shitting rocks. Mm -hmm. It's logs. Yeah, but right. it's like six feet worth because you've been backed up for right. a week. Like oh. if I didn't pinch, I would put like a like one of those poop emojis. One of those would literally be in the toilet. Wow! wow. God, I almost so there see is this. a huge mass of shit. We're gonna get so many emails. I know from doctors and stuff. People but, are just gonna be like, "Tom, you're wrong," <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah, they're just gonna be like, "Tell them this." Yeah, so it's so, be so do bad. you? Let me ask you: Do you ever do you ever have the urge to go? in a given day and then you ignore the urge maybe are you too busy like i know you're switching the show right now so for instance maybe maybe you have to feel oh i'm, I'm a tug and then you ignore is that is that possible i used to when i was a kid and mm -hmm. then it just got less and less and less to where now i might um but if i do it'll be a one-time thing and i'll say ah, i could do that you know in, in five or seven days or next week you know? yeah i gotta tell you this does not have a happy ending <laughs> so we we know i'm serious man i i you we've got it you gotta try something okay what's what's crazy is i didn't even know that it was weird until i said it here because no i mean i would hear people seriously talk, yeah because i would hear people talk about oh you should three times a day or whatever but i also hear people say you should exercise every day and i know right. there's so many yeah people yeah that yeah don't, right that i thought that that was just a thing that you should do but a lot of people no 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 you, don't. you, you should not be shitting once every seven days that's definitely it, that's real probably very i mean unless some doctor writes in and says hey as long as he does shit and it's a lot he's not gonna say that because yeah. it's not good to ca carry that i think toxic waste inside of your body for yeah. so long right and if you did like even like an awesome big like one thing if you could try try like a big mixed green salad you get these greens and you can fill it with everything you like you know you can chop up mushrooms pep but everything you, any veggie you could take and you fill up with that and that doesn't make you shit i mean to me that's you know i'm i'm twice a day minimum oh this one is a disaster yeah i mean what what about nadav how often do no, you no, shit? i don't want him to adopt it but I shit a lot. Yeah, he yeah. shits constantly. Yeah. I mean, I shit like, you know, t at least twice before I leave for work. Twice? Yeah. yeah. Do you drink coffee and shit? Yeah, I mean, I, I drink like three or four cups of coffee before lunch. It's kind of a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. lot. What about Cockroach? He shits every day, right? Oh. He says he's shitting fine. Yeah. That's probably the one thing. Now, do you want to know something else disturbing about any? Mm. He doesn't use condoms. That's just a real dude. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I would always, always wait Any, for the what, instruction. But on Annie's that. not in a monogamous relationship. He's yeah, out no. there throwing it around, doing it. Yeah. You should do Bruh. that. Bruh. It's good. That's the way to do it. Are I you, mean, can I say it? I mean, here's the thing. No, I don't like it. You got to have one for like the whiners, you know, that are like, <laughs> nah. but like, but I don't volunteer, I wouldn't volunteer it. Like, you know, like, oh, I got to wrap what about, it up. But what about having children? That I mean, look, forget STDs. What about, you know, getting someone pregnant? Pull out game strong, right? Pull out game mad strong. But, <laughs> but uh, I are... mean, it'll sound bad, but before I even touch a girl, guaranteed we're going to have a talk about abortion. We're going to have a talk about really? STDs. Oh, 100%. It always comes to, you know, what do you think about kids? Oh, yeah, well, what if you accidentally, you know, would you be down for an abortion? She says, yeah. Cool, you want to come to my place? Yeah. <laughs> you, How, you know what talk. I never got to do? Did you ever, did you ever have the STD talk? It's something I never, ever, I was always like, ah, she's probably clean. But like, what do you, do you ever have the talk? Like, do you have uh. anything? Every time. How does it go? Tell me how it goes. Every time it starts with this. I always say, oh yeah, you want to know a fun fact? I've never worn a condom in my life. And they're always, oh, really? How many of you have? Blah, blah, blah. And then I say, yeah, but you know, I got tested and I'm good. And what about you? You, uh, you get tested and all that. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. So if you feel, if you're vibing with someone, it leads to that conversation at some point. Always. What about one night hussies? Same you, thing. Same I, thing. I don't, I don't do where you 
you know, meet her at a club and then straight to her place or something. You don't even talk. I don't, I don't Come know. here, you little funky dog, yeah. little bitch. Stop it. How so long? Woo. So well, how long? But but so how long do you get to know somebody before you like? What's what's getting to know somebody? Uh, I mean, it could be one night, but it's still a conversation before. He's you know, not right? just like, "What's up?" and then let's yeah. let's go. Well, we should play this for Dr. Drew because he talks about how this generation does not wear condoms, and. I'm sure you'd have some wise words and for you, young Annie. this generation is stronger and better than any <laughs> generation we've had. Well, our dads definitely don't wear rubbers. No, that is considered the greatest generation. And yes. those guys were fucking savages. Yes. My dad, I told, I told this story on stage before. My dad, one time, it was just random. I was like, oh, I know what it was. It was that I was talking about, you know, you, you think of like, something in modern times and you're like i wonder when this first came out like when when was it introduced to society and i go did condoms become popular when you were in high school or college thinking that that's when it had to come out and he goes i don't know i've never worn a condom <laughs> and i was like what because i know about his history of dating and i go you just pulled out on everyone he goes oh i've never pulled out and i'm like <sighs> i go so you just fucking dumped loads into women for decades and he was like i don't talk like that but yeah no my dad dumps clips too of course your dad of course I've got brothers. i'm sure i have sisters in colombia philippines thailand yeah i know i'm waiting for it every time yeah. that 23 me email comes in like you have new relatives i'm like for sure and by the way for sure my dad like you know pretty hardcore catholic if if any of any of those girlfriends had gotten pregnant, he would have been like, I'm, we're married. And That's your like, mom. Yep. But it just so happened. And this is like every girl that he like dated for a couple of years. I'm like, you just, you just always busted nuts in her? He's like, mm-hmm. Like, Fuck, now, man. Any, I will say, though, let's say you're drinking and you're partying and the pullout game, absolutely. I Hey, man, we've done the pullout game, too. And so far, hey, knock on wood. But... I mean, you might be partying. It might be a little dark. You know what I mean? Like, what if you haven't taken a shit in a week? You're taking you're a shit. You're <laughs> off your game. And uh, you know what I mean? Like, it's not a hundred percent, and you know, it's not foolproof. And you're not with the same bitch every time. I don't know. I'm just concerned about you. And what about you know all the other things? Herpes, warts, all that stuff. Sometimes women have it. They don't even know when they're giving it to you. Why would you they not know if they're not tested? Why are you trying to talk? Oh, you, well, I mean, genital warts sometimes can incubate for seven years before it shows up. Um, she could have contracted something before. I, I mean, how do you know she got tested right away? Could it be a while and she's had other partners since. I feel like big time Tommy would be really mad at you right now. I'm just saying, like, let Dr. Not, Drew. You are not keeping it OS right now. I'm not, you know, I, can't, I cannot in good faith tell any of the Eddie, okay. let me tell you how it goes. If a girl looks clean, she probably it's is. It's not. She's a hoe. She OS. nasty. Oh, my God. And Josh Thank Potter doesn't wear condoms either. Of course not. But he doesn't bust clips, so I'm not too worried about that. No. In terms of getting somebody pregnant. But you got you you animals can get all kinds of diseases from I these hoes. I am really excited about... Is there any further development with uh, the girl that said she's going to meet Josh? Have, have you guys communicated? Is that a thing? I mean, I'm waiting... I'm waiting for a time to for a date to, to send her out to. I'm just. But I mean, have has she have you communicated? Yeah, we've communicated that she's won the contest. Okay, so yeah. we've got to pick a city. Yeah, we just got to pick a time and a place to fly her out, and then it'll happen. Was she excited? Did she convey any excitement at winning? It was the most excited I've ever seen anybody in email form. Really? really? Yeah, she was really stoked. Wow. Wow. Well, All we'll right. see. Now, Nicole Byer. Uh, was, it has aired at this time. I don't it know. It hasn't aired, no. Well, she has some thoughts on it. You'll yeah. see it in a future episode. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to spoil it, but. Okay, well, we got to pick a city, man. We got to pick a city soon for uh, Jackie. That's her name. Jackie from Canada. All right. Well, I hope uh, you keep, you know, eating well and I hope you can poop one day. I don't know. We're going to get so many people writing in, doctors telling us what's going on with any. So let's just let those trickle in and we'll we'll follow up with him. Because I do feel like if he did add some, like you said, fruits and vegetables in the diet and exercise, yeah. maybe even some caffeine, mm -hmm. it might help push things out. Yeah. Do you know that somebody uh, saw footage of Bert in a parking lot? No. Have you seen this? No. Look at this. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> 
Buddy just dropped his beard. Damn. Such a bummer. Bert drops his beer. Fuck. They all break, and then he gets really pissed. Oh. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Fuck. I'd be the same way. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, he start. <laughs> <laughs> he starts drinking there. Damn. Damn, homie. But he like cracked a can. How... Was it a can? He busted the whole can. Yeah, that's Damn. such a bummer. Oh man. He's pretty unstable. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. He's starting to drink like whatever he can what salvage. Salvage, salvage, Poor going guy. in. That's like fucking. Hey man, you ever gotten groceries and you drop that shit in the driveway, and that's like, oh man, I've broken fucking bottles of wine when we were poor. Eggs. Eggs. Oh man, I broke. A thing of kimchi and it was like hard to find kimchi and they yeah. finally fucking had it at the store and then you it broke, broke. It, yep. I'm like god oh damn it god. <laughs> 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 fuck they're all busted up and he's drinking whatever's in them yeah I would too <laughs> oh shit that guy if spent you... his last few dollars on that beer you know it oh well drink him up buddy yeah. just save him man <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking really drinking him if uh, <laughs> if you saw that guy and you're walking by, would you go buy him another? A hundred thousand percent. You would. I'd be like, bro, here's twenty. Yeah, go get you another. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a humane. Or you know, what you'd be do. like, you go like, I'll hook you up, and you walk in, and you come back out with Gatorade. And you're like, hey, you're <laughs> it's the thirst quencher. Yeah, it's really. You got to stay hot. It's fucking hot out. And he's like, fuck you. <laughs> Right? It'd be great. Yeah. That's like giving homeless people your leftovers. Somebody said that to me the other day. We, I was Allie. We were here and then we were done eating and I just had a bunch of leftovers. She's like, should we give these to homeless people? I'm like, they kind of don't want your leftovers. You I know, feel like they want money, you know? One time in Hollywood, I, I walked away from this restaurant with a, a salad, like a big full salad. And there was a homeless guy sitting on the curb. And I walked up to him. I go, hey, man, do you are you hungry? And he's like, yeah. And I go, well, check this out. And I open the lid and I put my fork in there and I, I flipped out all the olives because I hate olives. <laughs> I go, you can eat that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then I wow. took my salad home. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful story. But I gave him all the olives. I hate olives. You hate the black olives the most. I hate, I hate all olives. <laughs> That was the most beautiful story yeah. I've ever heard, Tom. You're welcome. <laughs> How long are we at? I don't know. I fucking hate all this <laughs> so much. Oh, I like we're good. We're almost two hours. Oh, shit. I like the green ones. You don't like the green ones? I hate olives. What's yeah. funny to me is somehow like the green ones. my palate can tolerate olive oil, you know? like the, But chewing up, uh, I mean, I gag. I nearly vomit. <laughs> is it the saltiness? No. There's just there's like a, a flavor in black olives that are disgusting. Not just black about. ones, though. Green ones, too. Even the good ones, the garlic stuffed ones from Trader's Joe. Any olive. Even those. Have even you tried those. the garlic stuff? I've tried olives on, in all colors. I don't like them. I fucking hate olives. Why don't you fucking cry about it? I am crying about it right now. I gave them to a homeless guy. Can I tell you one thought before we go? Yeah. So we were with our friend Brendan mm -hmm. having dinner the other night. Yep. And he brought up such an interesting point. You know when somebody says something and you haven't thought about it your whole life, but yep. then they articulate the thought that you, Yes, perfectly. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> we were talking about going to the bathroom and farting while peeing. Mm -hmm. And he said, he said, you know, you can't stop a fart when you're peeing because it uses the same muscle. And like my fucking brain exploded at the dinner table. And I, I never, have you ever thought of it that way before? Like yeah. You, no, I've thought about it. Yeah. I've never thought of it before. So it's a good one for you to share with Dr. Drew too, I think. Um, it's like when you pee and then you brown and then there's more pee after you brown. And yeah. you're like, how does that even happen? Yeah. But then 
this is why so many people machine gun fart as they pee. Yep. I mean, you can clench the fart from coming out, but then you stop peeing. <laughs> right. right. So you, it's like you have to choose between two and then, forces. But then you can open the pee valve again. You can stop the fart right. and then go and then pee. And then, yeah. I mean, you, there's so many farts in a men's room at the urinals. Right. Wait, a wait. lot of times there's got, <laughs> and you're like, hey, man. It's like that one snuck out. But can we please, this is a question for Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew, is it in fact the same muscle that when you urine, that, that is there when you urine? <laughs> I can tell you, he's going to be real controls. happy to be back. He's going to be really happy to be back here. Is it the same muscle that controls the farts that controls the pee? I don't think it is, okay. but it's in the same region, which makes it difficult because your anus is different than your a urethra yeah. and the muscles around there but it's along the same line i gotta go it's so. the same circadian rhythm i understand anyway thank you brendan for that insightful uh, yep. wisdom very talented guy <laughs> um okay this was a lot of fun i'm gonna go pee and machine gun fart what are you gonna do i'm gonna do the same <laughs> um thank you guys for listening and for watching here is did some shit to my oj by chris d hope you enjoy it thanks we'll see you next week Hey, listen. Get out there and fucking rock this day. I already started 7 a.m. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, here, here so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans.